Anthony's agent explains why move to Liverpool fell through before joining Man United. Anthony's agent Junior Pedrosa admits Liverpool were looking to land the Brazilian before Mohamed Salah's contract situation changed their approach. The Manchester United winger, then at Ajax, had impressed with the Dutch outfit and had several clubs keeping tabs on his situation. Eric Ten Hag had just moved to Old Trafford and was determined to bring Anthony with him. Liverpool too were tracking his situation and had shortlisted the 24-year-old as a potential replacement for Salah. Back then the Egyptian, who had just been named the Premier League's best player, was looking to sign a bumper contract, but was stalling on a new deal. Eventually Sulla put pen to paper to remain at Liverpool, but until then they were considering Antony as his replacement only for their interest to end when the Egyptian made his decision. Pedroso told WinWin.com, yes, this story has a basis in truth. No, negotiations stopped as Sulla renewed his contract at the time with Liverpool, and that made Antony's move to Liverpool impossible. That summer Antony would move to Manchester for more than £80 million after the player himself went on strike to force through the move and Ten Hag underlined his determination to bring the Brazilian with him in his first summer. Antony would score on his debut as the Red Devils saw off Arsenal, but that was as good as it got for the forward. He has since been regularly criticised and is viewed as one of the biggest flops in the Premier League era with his future now unclear after Ten Hag's sacking. Antony had been identified and profiled during the old Gunnar Solskjaer era and they deemed him a player worth in the region on £20 million. They ended paying around four times that to eventually land his services, but he hasn't provided a return on that investment. Several ex-players, the likes of Gary Neville and Paul Scholes, have criticised the move to sign Antony, which will go down as one of the worst of the modern era. Neville had also hammered the Glazers for signing off on such a move following successive losses to begin that season. Man United players' reaction to Ruben Amram's verdict on post Sir Alex Ferguson struggles. Ruben Amram has told his Manchester United players that they've been living in Sir Alex Ferguson's shadow as they struggle to replicate his success. The Portuguese boss arrived at the club last week from Sporting Lisbon but has been putting his players through their paces since Monday. And he's not been shy in delivering some home truths to a squad that currently languish in the bottom half of the table. Amram has long been rated as one of Europe's best young managers following his success with Sporting, where he won two league titles. The Sun reports that the players have been blown away by his immediate impact with Mourinho-style confidence on show. The 39-year-old once attended Carrington to do a week internship under the Special One, who was among those to try and fail to replicate Ferguson's magic. The Scot was the last man to deliver a Premier League title, that being in 2013, and Amaran believes they haven't used his spirit as a driving force. A source said, he told them that top managers have not replicated Sir Alex's success because they have lived in his shadow, rather than getting their team to play with his spirit. Even before Monday's first session, the players have been very impressed. Then, after the sessions, they are blown away by his energy, approach, and confidence. There's definite Mourinho vibes in the way he speaks and his self-belief, but the style is his own. The players think he's very approachable and that he will understand them. Some of them are calling him Mourinho 2.0. Amaram himself has previously dismissed comparisons with Mourinho. The special one, now at Fenerbahce, was in charge in Manchester for just over two years but is the only man post-Ferguson to register 80 points in a season as he finished second in 2017-18. Amaram this week began drilling his players on Monday, but had to deal with a depleted squad with a number of stars still away on international duty. He had the likes of Marcus Rashford, Mason Mount and Ahmad Diallo and then supplemented the sessions with academy players. The source added, he told the ones he's seen so far that the talent in the squad is unbelievable, but they need to start playing as a team. Amaram's first game in charge will be this Sunday when he takes United to Portman Road to take on Ipswich Town. There will be much anticipation about how his team line up with the new manager having his own ideas on the players whilst he's also expected to introduce the 3-4-3 system he used in Lisbon. Marcus Rashford and Case Miro called into question by Gary Neville over US trip. Gary Neville has questioned why Manchester United stars Marcus Rashford and Case Miro flew long distances to go on holiday during the international break. 
Rashford was on the receiving end of criticism as he showed up for an NBA game between the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets last week in New York City. The forward could be seen entering the arena with an eye-catching large white hoodie and black leather trousers. Case Miro made his way to Orlando with his family and posted shots on his Instagram at Disney World. While both players were free to do as they pleased during their spare time, with neither selected for their country during the international break, ex-United captain Neville has queried their choice of destination. The former fullback insisted he has no issues with the optics surrounding Rashford's attire or the attention he garners, but did worry over the effect jet lag could have on players. He also challenged the duo's decision to log a hefty amount of air miles at a time when United are going through a difficult period. It comes with the territory when you're this sort of player in stature, Neville said on the It's Called Soccer podcast. I've got very little sympathy for players who are the stars who are on huge money, huge commercial contracts, they want that attention, they need it as that's what fuels them and makes them the great players what they are and that's what gives them that adrenaline rush, they're going to get more attention, so I've got no problem with that and the attention he gets. I've got no problem with him going away in the international break and I've got no problem with the clothes that he wears, he can wear whatever he wants, the only thing I would say, and I'm saying this very calmly as I don't want it Neville hammers Rashford, to be honest with you, as I'm not hammering him. It's been a very difficult period for the club and it's been a very difficult period for Marcus Rashford. There was a player I used to play with that used to say, when times were tough that basically you go down to that extra level of detail and making sure everything's perfect, you take the butter off your toast, you literally make sure you're absolutely looking at every single 1% of detail you could. So I used to think standing in that tunnel, when going through a difficult time, I'd think right I've got to work my way out of this, I've got to be absolutely perfect. Every drink, every sleep, every training session, every stretch, has just got to be absolutely perfect. So what I think the most relaxing way to spend your time, whether you're Case Miro, and I'll bring him into it, Case Miro is 30 odd years of age, Marcus Rashford is in his 20s, traveling 10 or 11 hours and I, to be fair, have done that quite a few times in the last few months, you get a bit of jet lag going to the US. So, a 3-4 day jet lag based trip, when you've got basically the idea of training and making sure you're fit, I don't personally think it's the right choice of distance and choice of destination. Rashford has started all but one of United's Premier League games this season but has struggled to reach the heights he is known for, only netting one goal and providing one assist so far. However, despite his trip stateside seemingly giving people the impression he was taking it easy, Rashford was seen sitting on a treadmill in the middle of a fitness room which reports suggested was at Nike's official headquarters in New York, as he looks to keep in shape ahead of the Ruben Amaramara. Nevertheless, Neville isn't convinced that flying to America was the best preparation for this weekend's games. He also claimed that those United players who sought solace in more low-key places are the clever ones. If the New York Knicks were playing three or four hours away, with a one-hour time difference I'd say go for your life, Neville added. But I think personally, if I was looking at being absolutely perfect in myself, and I maybe took professionalism to an obsessive level, I wouldn't be on a 10-hour flight to a different time zone that was potentially going to cause me more of a problem. Physically from a tiredness perspective, at particularly this point where a manager has just been sacked and we're going through a tough time and all eyes are on us. I'd lie low and I'd go somewhere and rest. There are some Manchester United players who have gone away for the international break, and you don't know where they've gone, but they're the clever ones in my mind. Rashford and Case Miro returned to Manchester ahead of Amram's first session this week. The England international will have to battle with Alejandro Garnacho and Ahmad Diallo for a place on the flanks, although he may also be used up front as United's new manager shapes his squad.